Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Electro V2 and Gart. Now, I'm going to be doing damage with max buff. Your damage will definitely be different. Unless you have all the buffs that I have and max stacks and all the accessories I have on. This is just to show you the difference in damage. Uh, the difference in um, damage per moves, difference in total damage, all of that. Your damage will be different to mine. Okay, so starting off. Let's just use all of the buffs at once. So, Sulo Mode, Gojo, Limitless, Full Body Haki, Dual Yoru Hawkeyes. I also have the King of the Beast title, which doesn't buff melee damage, but it's nice to have uh, if you're going to use this with Gear 5. Um, and then also max stats. And then I also have the best melee accessories. So, one thing that is better with Electro V2 is its M1 speed and M1 damage. It does more damage compared to... I'm just going to turn this down because it's quite loud. I think I didn't turn on Limitless. Okay, there we go. We should be doing damage. So yeah, as you can see, it's just 58 million per M1 and you can just keep clicking this. And clicking this. Like that, already 500 million damage. You can just spam this. And um, another thing as well is the moves are shorter than Garp's moves. So electric claw, electric moon, moon dance. You can just easily spam the moves and just do high damage. Right there with just basically the first couple of moves and spam that. So it has faster M1s, it has faster moves in general. It does less damage. So, so let's go over the pros, okay? So the global damage uh, buff that it gives is 1.5 times. Garps is 1.4 times. You're getting 10% more damage on fruits, sword, support styles. It has faster M1s, its moves are spammable. Um, and it also has the best movement in the game, of course. Like, just look at this. You can you can control it to where you want to actually go. It's very precise. It's the best movement in the game. Now let's go over the cons. It does less damage. In the in the long run, the Garp's Q move just carries it. Okay, so I just, I just want to add a little point onto it. Both of these require a V2 race because you need Mink V2 for Electro and Human V2 for Garp, but. Electro is easier to obtain in my opinion. You don't need to complete any Pika dungeons. Um, you need less money. Um, the drops, I believe, I'm starting to think that the drops are the same percentage. I think the moon uh, fragments are at 6%, cannonballs are at 6%. But for Garp, you need the Pika dungeon wins. Um, so in my opinion, Electro is much easier to get than Garp, which is a pro, of course. So now let's go on to Garp. Okay, so moving on to Garp. They do a little bit less M1 damage. Electric is 50 million, does 42 million damage. So it's doing less damage overall. Um, it gives you more melee damage though by 10%. 2.1 times melee damage buff compared to Electro's 2 times damage buff. It also has damage reduction by 1.3 times. We don't know if um, Electro has damage reduction, but this is 1.3 times damage reduction. For all that I know, Electro doesn't have it. So it, it, you take less damage. Okay, so let's go over the cons. It has less global damage by 10%, it's not a lot. The moves are slower, so a lot of the moves have a bit of wind up. It takes a while for them to run. They're quite laggy as well, because it has loads of effects. A big wind up compared to where you can use Electro with a fruit and you can just one shot them. Um, it has was a slower speed, so of course it doesn't have that OP uh, movement, uh, and it does less than one damage. So here is my final take on the two. If you are using melee only, use Garp, because Garp will do more damage, and it also has damage reduction. If you are using a fruit, or a sword, or a support style, it's probably going to be fruit users. Get Electro V2, because of the movement, because it does more, it does more damage with fruit. But yeah, that's it. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, join the Discord for giveaways. That uh, I hope you enjoyed. That's it. Bye.